One thing I always like to reflect on is small decisions that seem unrelated that come together to make a large impact. Normally at Seek Now, the tarp jobs that we complete are through insurance and most recently direct to consumer tarping. This story is different than both of those services. It's actually not even a service at all. It's actually a story of Seek Now leadership as well as one of our seekers coming together to help a man in need. So here's how the story begins. Two members of our leadership team, Josh Whalen and Jason Courtney, were distributing tarps to our seekers in Lakeland, Florida after the most recent hurricane, Hurricane Milton. While they were distributing tarps to our seekers, they noticed a woman who took a picture of our branded trailer and walked away. After they finished distributing the tarps, they ended up walking over to her and introducing themselves. Come to find out her name is Teresa, and she's trying to find someone to tarp her friend's house. They've had contractors provide estimates, and they were in the thousands of dollars. Teresa just wanted to help a friend in need, but could not wrap her head around these estimates she was getting from local contractors in the area. After talking to Josh and Jason, they agreed that they were going to help Teresa free of charge. Later that day, Josh and Jason went out to look at the property to evaluate what they would need. After assessing the situation, they reached out to one of our senior inspectors, Mark Austin, who has been with Seek now from the very beginning. They all agreed to volunteer their time and their materials. This amazing group of individuals extended the invitation to our contractor success department at Seek now. Peyton Folks and myself, Gino Lazio, were ecstatic about joining and helping out in any way that we could. So we gather all our tools, we all drive out and get ready to tackle this meaningful job for Mike. Mike is the homeowner that was referred to us by Teresa. So we all arrived, he was extremely grateful. So we got to work, running out of daylight. We quickly worked together as a team to finish this job for Mike. Well, before the mosquitoes ate us alive. For anyone who's never been to Florida after the sun goes down, you can hear the wings beating from a distance, like thunder coming from above the treetops. But none of that mattered. Mike needed his roof tarped, and we were there to help him. Josh Whalen, Jason Courtney, and Mark Austin jumped into action, grabbing ladders, cat nails, hammers, tarps, everything they needed to help this man protect his home. We also took time to talk to Mike, asking him about how long he's been here, and getting to know him a little bit more. Mike has lived here for the past 15 years and has done everything in his power to maintain this home year after year and storm after storm. But no matter who you are, everyone needs a little help now and then. I'm extremely grateful that we were able to be that help for him today. Many hands definitely made light work and we had this job done in no time, but we had no time to spare. Like I said before, the mosquitoes were coming. We could hear them, but it didn't matter. We were able to get it done for Mike. One thing my mom would always tell me growing up is take as many pictures as you can. Memories will fade as time goes on, but pictures have the ability to last forever. So all six of us lined up to take a group picture, as well as the 4,000 mosquitoes, and many more on their way. But none of that mattered because we were able to help Teresa and Mike when no one else had the ability to help or the willingness to help. At the end of this very long day, Mark Austin, Peyton Folks, Josh Whalen, Jason Courtney, and myself, Gino Lazio, were able to help Mike get his home secured so he can start putting the pieces back together. Talking to Mike, he was able to explain what it was like during the hurricane, having his roof damaged and the water level coming all the way up to his porch. I couldn't even imagine your house being its own island and how scary that must have been. And then the uncertainty of being able to get your roof covered to where the next time it rains, the inside's not wet. It can truly be a scary time after storms like this, but the only way we're ever gonna get through it is if we all come together. Not everyone is able to help in the same way. The hurricane was always going to come, but the small decisions made after that really added up to something special. When a storm like this hits, Seek Now and all of our team members truly jump into action. From all of our subcontractors on the field, getting it done every day, all the way back to the logistics team, every little piece comes together. You never know what opportunity is gonna open itself up to you until you take that step. Circling back to those small decisions, we had to be in the right place at the right time. Teresa had to be willing to come up and take that picture. Josh Whalen and Jason Courtney had to be willing to go over to see if there's anything that they could assist with. And then everything else that fell into place after that. Once you get the Team Green machine rolling, there's nothing that could stop us. 
even if we slow down at the end of a long day just to help a local out who otherwise may have had an exposed roof for who knows how long. Not everyone can help in the same way, but I'd love for you to reflect and think, how can you help someone in your daily life today? That small gesture from you may mean the world to them. Whether you're actively helping someone or telling the story of another hoping to inspire others, every little bit adds up. As a member of the Seek Now catastrophe team, this is Seek Now.